Hello. I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and I want to thank you for watching. Today's question comes from Mr. Klingberg, who writes all the way from Finland. He will soon be visiting uh, the United States, and though he feels his understanding of the language is sufficient to get by, he's concerned that his accent will uh, give him away as a foreigner and also lead to unexpected embarrassments. Before I proceed, I wish to disabuse you of, of any uh, insecurity about the way you speak. We are not so uh, prejudiced in this country that we don't mind the occasional visitor, especially when they have every intention of returning home. And as to your uh, direct concern, language is like cheese, or, or wine. Uh, it has a terroir about it. It is dependent on the soil in which it is grown. Uh, Finnish being a proto uralic language, you, you must understand that, that your tongue uh, derives many of its qualities uh, from those uh, desolate crags of the Urals and the fetid swamps surrounding the Volga. Uh, English, by contrast, uh, is blessed to have developed on an island. And uh, this island, acting like a crockpot, manages to take some of the finest ingredients to produce one of the most complex and rich languages known to man, with a hearty Germanic stock, a savory Norman base, and spiced by various languages and cultures that have found themselves on that wonderful island, it has produced the language of Shakespeare, the language of Milton and of Poe, and is truly incomparable. And, and to understand this language, you must understand the land in which this language derives. Now, I'm not suggesting you take a side trip uh, to England, uh, that would be uneconomical, but when you arrive in the United States, I recommend finding some of those first landing grounds of the English-speaking people. Look to Maine, to Massachusetts, take the time to listen to some of those hearty peasant folk, and not only that, but listen to the wind in the trees the burble of the brook, the sound of the waves lapping against the shore. From those, you will find greater understanding and appreciation of this tongue than you ever would from any pre-purchased wax cylinder of English-speaking peoples. Be careful, though, that you do not venture too far north and wind up in the Maritimes or, heaven forbid, Newfoundland. Uh, any time spent there, and you will come away sounding like a drunken wheat thresher. I hope that helps. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft.